Why exactly are we doing this? Why are we doing this? President Obama once promised to close Guantanamo Bay, tried for a time, was rebuffed by Congress and public opinion, and then essentially moved on. But many of its prisoners haven't moved on, and they're pushing themselves onto his agenda again. There are 166 being held there. Some are awaiting trial by a U.S. military tribunal, others considered not easily put on trial, still others waiting to be transferred overseas with their transfers on hold. Some have attempted suicide. About a hundred are said to be staging hunger strikes in protest against what they consider unfair treatment and a desperate fate as prisoners without any realistic prospect of freedom. I don't want these individuals to die. Uh, obviously, the Pentagon uh, is, is trying to manage the situation as best as they can. The Pentagon is force-feeding the hunger strikers it considers in real danger of starvation. 23, according to a military spokesperson, pouring liquid food through a tube pushed up the nose and down the throat. And it defends the practice. This is uh, the same procedure that, that's used in, in civilian hospitals uh, for people that are in a condition where they're unable to eat normally. But force feeding gets a different description from a current prisoner who says he endured it and dictated this account published in the New York Times. There was agony in my chest, throat and stomach. I had never experienced such pain before. I would not wish this cruel punishment upon anyone. An expert in medical ethics puts it this way. These people are basically shackled and bound. They're not trying to accept the treatment. The more you struggle, the more you resist, the worse it is. The U.S. president is pledging to take a new look at Guantanamo and the fate of the men held there. In the meantime, Gitmo stays open and the hunger strike continues. Jonathan Mann, CNN.